welcome back to the channel guys this is Henry so here we are at the city of North Vancouver this is um, I can't remember the name of this little structure here Dugworthy Dugworthy Fisherman Pier something like that anyway um, we're gonna go for shopping carts we've been told the shopping carts underneath here Man, it's super hot we got to bring our vehicle to the spot here but we have to park like probably like almost half a kilometer away so it's gonna be a pain in the butt because we got to get dressed over there walk in the sun in our dry suit come back sweat my butt off then the other thing interesting about this is that we have no way of getting out of the water right here which means we have to actually swim this whole way to over there to actually get out of the water this is uh, gonna be a pain in the butt but, oh well, I'm going to get busy uh, setting up and uh, we'll see you guys in the water. So within 30 seconds of me jumping into the water, I already see a couple of shopping carts, uh, one completely broken apart, rusted, and then um, crab traps, which is really disappointing, some dead crabs. I don't really know if the, these traps have killed the crabs or whatever, but yeah, I definitely see some crab carcasses there. I also found this eyeglasses case, it's got some stuff in it. If you drop this at Goldworthy Dock in North Vancouver, let me know and I'll get this back to you. The first uh, shopping cart that I decided to remove had a couple of crabs that were trapped in it and um, I decided to free the crabs and then might as well get that particular shopping cart out and right next to it is a crab trap so I grabbed that, attached it to the same lift bag and then started swimming towards the other side of the pier. So as I swam towards the south end of the pier I ran into the main part of the pile of um, shopping carts that I've been looking for so as I can see here there's a bunch of shopping carts I thought it was like 10-15 shopping carts but it might have been a lot of crab traps as well too anyway there's a giant pile of stuff here we're gonna try to get it out later on with the cooperation of the city and that'll happen later on in September so to get some of these shopping carts out I had a plan first of all I didn't know how many there were so I set up four ropes uh, meaning that I could get four shopping carts out maximum um, but what I didn't realize or didn't take into account is the fact that my ropes are 25 feet in length and the shopping carts are sitting at 33 feet of water so here you can see I'm trying to indicate to Karen that this is as far as the rope goes you need to bring the shopping cart to me um, which is very difficult to do because um, it, they're awkward to hang on to so Otto and Karen managed to lift using their lift bag um, bring a couple of shopping carts closer to me here you can see they're clipping it on and now we can just let it hang so these ropes are actually tied off to the pier uh, so each rope has something attached to it and uh, once we've done that we exit the dive start that long 400 meter swim towards the exit um, I haven't dove in the ocean for quite a while actually and it's kind of nice to see some kelp and seaweed and all that, all that stuff and we did grab a few things uh, like milk crates and stuff that's stupid laying on the ocean floor, managed to get that out as well. All in all is a decent dive. All right, dive is done. That was a horrific dive site in this, in this sense of um, uh, how many shopping carts. So the guy, remember, if, for the followers of this channel, uh, I guess it was last month or whatever it was, we were diving our over Lonsdale Key and as we're getting dressed, this guy walks past and says, hey, it's like, hey, uh, uh, do, you have, do you have need for a, an underwater vehicle? So a drone, underwater drone. And I said, oh, well, what do you mean? He says, well, I flew my drone, I piloted my underwater vehicle over here at this place that we just dove and, and there's like shopping cars down there. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then I got to just make sure I understood which dock it was and said, okay, I'll set up for a dive and so on. So this is where we were today. I was kind of expecting two or three shopping carts. Just in that one single pile alone, there's 10 shopping carts, plus several more further back and then plus a two more back at the end of, um, against the shoreline. And uh, I never even got to the end of the pier. Like I, I never even dove the entire site. I was just trying to deal with the shopping carts that I had. So we had a plan of um, getting some shopping carts out. We could lift four. That was it. Just because we need more access, we need more shore support and all that stuff. Uh, we can get it all out, but we need to talk to the city of North Van and 
get a little bit of cooperation, get our dive vehicles down there because this is a very awkward dive site for us. We got to walk a long ways in my socks because all our gears down there and so on. Anyway, um, gonna drive this truck down there and then start lifting shopping carts out and I'll show you guys. Lift up by myself. That's a two person job. So the other three lines, and there's four lines down there, the other three are shopping cars, and I can't lift them on my own. This one's just a crab trap. I can get that out. Oh my god, that's heavy. So I lost the files for the outro for this cleanup dive at Goldworthy Dock, um, but we moved uh, 267 pounds of trash, uh, some shopping carts, crab traps, and all that stuff. And uh, thanks so much for my Patreon supporters, and we'll see you guys in the next video.